All right, good morning. It is Saturday morning. Just finished my walk, wearing my cutting weight sauna suit, sweating pretty good. It is a little breezy out here again. It is like 47 degrees. So I did wear my sweat jacket and my sweatpants over top of it to insulate a little bit, get the sweat going, and it is going. So I'm probably gonna keep it on, at least right now, until I get working out and we'll see how it goes. Cause when I take it off, you can really feel the breeze blowing through here. It really cools you off pretty quick. So I wanna keep that sweat going. So today we got push day. Didn't work out yesterday. My plans didn't quite go as yesterday, but I didn't work out yesterday. So today we're doing pushes. We're doing yellow band chest, overheads, triceps, calves, and then we're done. Let's get ready to go. All right, chest press warm up, black band, 10, 12 reps. Just get it going. Get the muscles activated, getting ready to go. All right, that was 12. Nice and slow. Feel the contraction in the muscle the whole way. Taking it out, keeping it tight, keeping it tight back here. Getting everything loose and ready to, or tight, loose, whatever you want to call it, ready to go. Yellow band's coming up. All right, we're ready to go with the yellow band, short bar, chest press. It does seem like I have a little bit of something that's going around, but fight through it. Make your body respond. Make your body attack that virus that's running through it. Eighteen solid pushes. Whew. I feel like they're getting better every week. Whew. All right, about forty-five second break in between. Watch out, buddy. Uh, grips by Bull Iron Bull grips. 
dark gray band. We're doing Trush Cross.16. Big stretch at the end. Just trying to hold that stretch for longer. Really stretching your chest and really opening all that up, especially after you just really pump it full, nice and tight. Then get that big stretch at the end. Whew. All right, overhead's coming up. <clears throat> all right, that was about a five minute break. Get some energy back. Drink down some Imperium. Get ready to go because we're doing overheads. Light gray band, short bar. Let's get some. Oops, almost forgot. Almost forgot we got to do the side lateral raises afterwards.
26, 26 total with the overhead standing and kneeling. And then I always try and get 10 at least on the side down a race. Even if you're just going out of the bottom and barely going, you're still keeping that tension constant and just totally working that side lateral head as you're doing it. Whew. All right, big break. And we got some triceps coming up. All right, last one for everybody. Triceps. We're gonna do black band, skull crush, press down, tricep press at the end, and then finish off with some behind the head, big stretches, and then probably fall on the ground. Get my hands all the way in on a knurling, as far in as I can get them. Whew. Whew. 26 total with the black band and then 10 with the red band. Whew. Triceps are completely, <laughs> completely drained. Whew. Of course, I already did them with the yellow band. I did them with the shoulder press. So this is just a finishing off of everything you've done earlier because the tricep is instrumental in everything else you're doing with the chest press, with the crossover, with the overhead. I think you're just finishing it off. I gotta catch our breath and we're gonna finish off with some calves.
50 total. Just trying to get to that 40 mark and then really just burn it out as much as you can for those last 10. Ooh. Ooh. I think we got another week or two and then we're gonna go back up to the black band. Ooh. All right, that concludes today's X3 cutting weight sauna suit workout. I got up, first thing I do when I get up in the morning, I get out of bed and I go straight to the bathroom, wash my face with cold water, empty my bowels, and then I go in the closet, I put on the sauna suit, just the sauna suit, and then I throw my obviously suit over it right now because it's cold. And then I go for the walk. I don't drink no water, I don't do anything. I'm doing that if I'm in a fast, I'm doing it completely fasted. If I am don't eat since last night, then it's a semi-fasted state. So I don't do anything until I get back here. And like I said, I may have some Imperium, I may have some, some bulletproof coffee, uh, just basically black coffee with some butter in it or some coconut oil in it while I'm out here working out to sip on. Um, and then, Afterwards, I'll go in and I'll take my uh, forage and protein and get on with the day. And like I said, today is not a fasting day, so I'm probably gonna have some eggs or something for breakfast. We'll see. Um, so today's workout, standard X3 workout. I love this suit. Man, I am sweating really good underneath here. Even though the wind's blowing, I can feel a little chill. I can just, I can feel the chill down my back because my back is just drenched in sweat. And it is, like I said, it is probably around 50 degrees. It's warmed up a little bit since the sun came up, but there is a breeze going a little bit. So it does keep it chilly. So it is nice to put that cover jacket over it. But I'm telling you, I know <laughs> this is not a typical um, spring for uh, where I live. Usually right now we're, we're pretty warm as it is. So this year has been a very wet and cold winter for California. So typically I'll probably be sweating like crazy, which I will be soon enough. Um, so first week, with the suit is almost done. I got one more day tomorrow and get that workout done and then we'll get into the next week. So I got four weeks and then we'll take the suit off and we'll see what we've done in the first four weeks of having the suit. It's a full 12 week cycle of wearing the suit and working out with it. We'll see how that goes once it starts getting warmer. I may be getting too hot. So I may have to take the top off and just keep the pants on to keep the, obviously the temperature up and keep sweating, which I will be sweating anyway once that sun comes up out here, I'll have to get the sunshade back up on the, the stand to get underneath there because it does get hot out here in the morning. If you've been watching for any length of time, you'll know that during the, the summer and the fall, I got that umbrella out there because I got to hide underneath it even at eight o'clock in the morning. It gets pretty warm out here. So, so the goal here is obviously is losing this, trimming this down. I'm doing pretty good. I'm really sticking, not sticking, I'm sticking to my, my fasting plan. It's almost impossible. All right, you two. <laughs> these two these two love to wrestle anyway um it's hard for me to stick you know solidly to that diet plan because i have uh, my wife who likes to enjoy her life and being a disabled person i like to try and make her life as full as possible so if we're going out to italian or mexican or whatever i'm not just going to sit there and not eat or just whatever i'm going to enjoy myself so the diet that i've found that works the best for me right now is just an every other day fast. Basically a 40 hour fast, starting Sunday night. Don't eat until Tuesday dinner. And then you eat that dinner, you eat that window, and then you go into another 40 hour fast. You don't eat again until Thursday dinner. And then you have your three day weekend um, to enjoy yourself. Don't overeat, don't eat crazy, don't drink crazy, whatever. Um, but enjoy myself. Maybe I might have breakfast today, I might not. Depends on how I feel. But I am getting my protein on every day except for the days that I'm fasting. I'm trying to get 200 plus grams of protein and keep my fat levels high. So this is going down. I can see it, I can feel it. I can actually feel it up here in the shoulders. Actually, that's where it's gonna come down first. It's gonna come down up here and that's gonna slowly melt down. And then this will be the last part to melt off. I don't know, God designed us weird. <laughs> he didn't design us the way we wanted to. We'd have just killer abs all the time. Anyway, so that's me rambling. I'm tired. <sighs> I need to go in and get something to eat because I need some protein. Anyway, that's it for Saturday, push day. Thanks for all the subscribers. Thanks for everybody here showing up. You know, if you learn something good, 
if you see that you can be consistent and do this, and there's even days I don't want to get out of bed and go do this, but I know I have to do it. That's why I started the channel to make myself get up and go do it because I'm here posting about it every day, showing my face to the whole world, which people that I knew before would be like, oh my God, you're actually doing that? Yep, I'm actually doing it. I'm actually posting my workout. So I'm no big bodybuilder. I'm nobody, nobody fancy. I'm just a guy out here just doing it every day and seeing what my results look like. Experimenting with my body and I found something that works that every other day fasting, 40, two 40 hour fasting during the week, that works. That works for me and we're gonna keep on going with it. So. I got it done. I'm going to go live my life. I will see you back here tomorrow for pull day and the end of the week. Have a good weekend. Yep, this is me editing my videos. After I get done, I come in the house and I sit in my suit and just continue sweating while I edit the video here and get it all ready to post. Constantly doing everything I can burn the fat and get that thermogenic effect so that's what i do every day after i finish come in here sit down and start editing while i'm sweating my butt off